Alright guys, we're doing Mess Around by Ray Charles today. around by Ray Charles. And hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Uh, you can check out my website at webpianoteacher.com for tons of more videos that are not on YouTube. Uh, and the rest of this song, the piano part, uh, even the solo in the middle, the real cool piano solo in the middle, I do that. That's on the website right now uh, if you're a member of webpianoteacher.com. So let's get going on this. We're going to start with right hand way up here. Here's our middle C. We're going to come up to this C go up a little further and we want E flat octave here. So E flat on the thumb and E flat on the pinky way at the top. Now I'm going to put a little grace note before that. Bump. Okay, real quick. And that's with your ring finger. Okay, so put your ring finger, finger in there and, and flip it quickly to the E flat. Now if that's difficult for you to do, you can just do the E flat without the D and that's okay. But I definitely hear a grace note on the recording. Alright, on the left hand we're doing octaves. And so that means uh, two E flats here. So middle C is here. We want the E flat above that on the thumb. E flat on the pinky. All right. And then we're going to move the whole thing down to D flat. This is a D flat. This is the D flat. So we move the whole thing down to D flat. Down again to C octave. Down again to B flat octave. And down again to F sharp octave. So this is F sharp right here. Okay. So F sharp octave back to G. We haven't gone to G, so G for the first time. Back down to F sharp, back up to G. Okay, so this is what we have for left hand slowly. So the fourth time, we're going to do this E flat octave and, and play it again down an octave. Okay? Now, when we put the right hand with it, we're going to play the D just really quickly right before we play those E flat octaves. So all four times. Here we go for this first box. First time. Let's just do the A flat octave here. A flat. Let's play those two A flats together. And then let's play these C's together. Then let's move up and play these E flats together. Then let's move up and play F's together. And then up to G flat octave. Back down to F. And then down to E flat. And then finally down to C. Now let's do it as a walking bass line. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. Move to C. Move to E flat, pinky thumb. to do. So if you have problems doing that, you can just do this. If you want to, just play single notes, okay? Or you can just play octaves. But what I hear in the recording is... And it is difficult, and as most things are, they're difficult at first and then they get easier. So uh, just give that a try there with your left hand. Now, on the right hand, we're going to do this. A uh, half-diminished C chord, if that's if you want to know what the name of the chord is, but it's C, E flat, G flat, and then B flat on top. Okay, and if you just look at this chord alone without the left hand, it's a C half diminished. If you think about it being an A flat chord, then it's it's something else. But uh, C, E flat, G flat, B flat. We're gonna play that all together, and then we're gonna play it again here. I didn't write the letters again just to save confusion. Just play the same chord again, and then play it again right here. 
Okay, so let's uh, play it right here. And then left, and then play it right here. Right there with that, that higher C. And then left hand continues. And then play it with the G flat there. And then left hand. And then right here we're going to play C, E flat, and A flat up here. And then we're going to play C, E flat, G flat. Now when I got up here for left hand, I ran out of room, and just to save confusion again, I'm, I didn't write out the whole uh, walking bass line. I just put the note. So you're going to continue to do ba 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 ba. See, so we're still doing pinky thumb on octaves here. I just didn't write out every letter. So here we have E flat and then C. So four notes even though I only, only wrote two. One, two, three, four. Okay, and you'll play this together and play this together. Like that, okay? So starting right here, we have together here. Start here again a little bit faster. Moving on, we're going to have. Okay, so now we're going to have B flat, C, E flat, and G all together. Right here, then we're going to have that again, the same chord. See the, the line there? We'll play it again. Left hand is going to have a walking bass line on an E flat chord, so really low E flat. It's off the video, you can't see it, but. Really low E flat, the lowest E flat you can play on the piano. So thumb, pinky, up to G, thumb, pinky. I mean, I'm sorry, pinky thumb. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb here. B flat, pinky thumb, C, E flat, back down to C flat, back down to B flat, and then G. So boom, 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 boom. So uh, let's do the right hand right here with the left hand. So play this together. Now here, you're going to play this on the, the thumb of the G. So you play pinky, and then when you do the thumb note, that's where you play the chord. Right there. And then you continue. And then we're going to learn this right hand part. But uh, So together here. Left, together, right there on the thumb. sharp and B flat together with your your uh, pointer and your pinky. And then flip that F sharp to G quickly. Ba -ba, da -da. And then E flat on the thumb. And then A flat and C. And then G flat, B flat. Okay, that's what it is. So right hand goes I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Do it again. Putting hands together here, this is what's difficult. We play the pinky, E flat, and then on the thumb E flat, we play this. Okay? And then left, then on the thumb C, you play this, the A flat and the C. Okay? And then on the pinky B flat, you play this F sharp B flat thing. Flip it, da -da, right there, da da. And then on the E flat is where you play the thumb B flat on the left hand. Right there, together. And then together here on the G. It sounds wrong when you play it slow all by itself, but it'll sound great when you play it fast up to speed when you get to that point. And then thumb G goes with this. I know it sounds wrong all by itself, but when you're going flying through the song, it's going to sound great. All right, so that's what you do there. Uh, let's do starting right here on this E flat slowly for you. Boom. Remember, the rest of this song is on webpianoteacher.com right now, including the piano solo in the middle. I'll write it all out for you and show you how to do it. Uh, so let's do this. Ah. Again. All right, now let's go through the whole thing at a, at a uh, medium tempo, okay? And then we'll end our, end our lesson here. So first time. Second time. the rest. 
rest of it. So check out my website. Hope you enjoy it.